Jerry Palladwar has earned major baseball respect in Oak Bank and throughout our province as a player, coach, and organizer for his sport in Manitoba. Jerry, you were a standout as a player with Springfield in the Manitoba Junior Baseball League, but would you say your service as a coach and a builder has been more significant? It's been satisfying, very satisfying. Like as a player, you know, when you win, it's, it's very good. Yeah. But when you're involved, you know, as a volunteer or a coach or a manager, when, when you have success, that's really satisfying. Did you enjoy your playing days more than... I, I did, I yeah. did. When you're young, like, playing yeah. is everything. You live to play. Of course, play, yeah. And it's, it's just beautiful. Do we put too much emphasis on winning, in your opinion? You have to have, like, the winning aspect there, because that's what makes the game great. Like, people, you play for a reason, and, like, to have fun, but also winning causes you to compete. If you don't have that... There's uh, something missing. It, it, mm. Yeah, it's just not the same, so. You reorganized and developed the Winnipeg Junior B Baseball League and teams that you coached in that league were winners, of course, and that's a special achievement, but what, it, what has happened to that league? Well, that, that league, like say it was, it was very good for a few years, but we've, we've seen uh, players, it's much like the rural areas, that have amalgamated with the senior leagues because they're all over 18-year-old players. So what we've done this year in the Winnipeg Senior League is the, the junior uh, AA league. We've incorporated into a new division of our senior league so that they're able to compete in their division. But because they're all over 18, they're able to compete. And they're no longer minor baseball players. Right, so it allows them a venue to play. So, How about organizing minor baseball in your hometown of Oak Bank? Did you receive any pats on the back for that accomplishment? Well, it, it's it's the diamond we play out of Dugald, like in mm -hmm. Springfield, we, yes. you know, for baseball midget and up, we play out of Dugald. So, so I've, I've looked after the grounds and we've updated, you know, obviously the structures there, the, the fencing, the backstop, the, the whole bit. So, so I, you know, I've been involved with that and, and like it's great now, teams come there and they remember years back where it was you know, the diamond was mm -hmm. interesting, yes. but now they look and say, wow, it's a real ballpark now. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's, you know, that makes you feel good when You're people bad. notice I that. remember umpiring at that old yeah, ballpark yeah, yeah. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have served several terms as president of the Winnipeg Senior Baseball League. That indicates to me that you've got obvious qualities of leadership. Well, it, it, it's just one that, you know, there are things that need to be done. Mm -hmm. and. You know, it's always in most organizations someone needs to to step up and do them, and and I haven't minded doing that. You know, I've always said if somebody else wants to come forward and is energetic to do that, but you know they haven't kicked me out so far, so <laughs> you know I, I continue to be involved in that. So. Do you think we still have the same quality of uh, of volunteers in in the province? We do. You know, I I always say, you know, when people say, oh, nobody's interested anymore, I always say, well. How do you know unless you ask? Because I've, mm -hmm. I've rarely in my life ever seen as somebody, if you actually ask them, hey, we could use a hand with this, say, no, I can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people will sit there and say, well, nobody asked. But if you ask, they're there. Exactly. I understand you've promoted and developed baseball programs as well for the 80 or the 40 plus group. Yeah, yeah it's an over mm -hmm. 40 group. And, mm -hmm. and it, it started, I, I started, coming out with St. Boniface they had an over 40 mm -hmm. team and, I, and I, I hadn't known about it but somebody mentioned they have an over 40 squad so I came out and pitched with them for a season I said well out of Springfield are you kidding like we have I don't know how many guys my age and older that have played the game so we started our own team and then we expanded it and we now play tournaments during the summer of nice. over 40 mm -hmm. year old baseball players and, and some of them that have you know played slow pitch for years they say Wow, this is great. We're playing the real game again. So. <laughs> what stands out in your successful record of coaching? Uh, I know your teams won championships in the Winnipeg Junior League, for example. Does that stand out? Yeah, we started our junior program up again because we had a gap of several years where we didn't have teams, and then we started them up again, and we were very successful early, and we we actually made it to the you know the, the finals, the provincial finals, five years in a row. And Super. we won three of them. And for me, that's, you know, that's kind of neat. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I always would tell my guys, look, when we get to the finals, I say enjoy it. Because 
in your life, you never know if you'll ever get back here again. You got it. But we mm -hmm. went there five times in a row and won three of them. Jerry, you added a modern concept as a computer professional. You work to develop league-wide sites for league stats, and that's a good contribution, I would say. It, it is, because I've been around long enough, you know, back in the day we were the pencil and paper statisticians, and then when websites came into being in the late 90s, they were very rudimentary, but then I started working with some groups and just said, well, we need this, we need that, and they said, well, could you help us, like, what would make this better type thing? So the developers, I would you know, parlay with the developers, letting, you know, letting them know, well, this would really add to the site. And several years later, some of the sites we see now are like fantastic. Wow, and, yeah. it all, and it all started, you know, early inception back in the late 90s. So you've retained your interest in baseball over the years? Eh? I, I have, I mm -hmm. have, I'm, I'm still around. Yeah. Have you got a favorite team in baseball's major leagues? Well, growing up, when the Montreal Expos, like I'm old enough to remember when the Expos came into being, and that was Canada's team. Like, yeah. make no mistake, that was Canada's team. And I was always an Expos fan, and probably one of the more crushing days in my life was when they left town. It was like, oh. Disappointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just it just hurt. The Blue Jays came along. My father-in-law from Toronto, my wife's from Toronto. My father-in-law was a big Jays fan. And he'd always ask, you watching the Jays game? And I'd... Uh -huh. say, yeah, but I'm an Expos fan, so. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry, what does it mean to be inducted into the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame to you? Well, it's huge. It, it, it was an honor just to be nominated. Like when I found that I had been nominated, I thought, well, that's great. And then when the selection committee accepted it and then passed it on to the board of directors, I thought, well, that's great. And then when the full board actually gave it the rubber stamp and said, you're in, yeah, it was floating. It was like because it's it's a three stage step, and you're just and you're nervous. It's like, oh man. And then and then when I got the I got the word that you're in, it was like, wow, that is that is special. So. Jerry Palatwar, the pride of Oak Bank, and a member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame.